Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at Apex 2016. I'm joined by Jonathan from Norton March. Jonathan, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about the, the products that you're promoting here on the booth and the trends you're seeing currently in the market. Uh, what we're seeing now is more companies are going towards uh, flexible. Uh, well, that's it's been ongoing. That's what's growing inside the PCB side. Uh, what we're also seeing more is the flexible PCB going to a roll format. So these are large spindles that, of course, are ran in through our systems for plasma. What we're interestingly seeing is these things are much thinner now than traditionally of what we've run in our row and roll machine, our row to roll machines. In addition to that, they're asking for a non-touch type of thing. So traditionally, we do multiple passes through our plasma machines, and both the front and back side of this flexible material touches um, the spindles that transverse them through. However, what we're seeing now is they don't want that part touched. Okay. So there's a safe zone on the edge that you can touch, and then they want the front and backside process without touching. And supposedly this is because of a particle contamination mm -hmm. concern as well as wrinkling and damage to the circuit. Outside of that, um, what we're also seeing is a shift now with um, panel-based processing. Mm -hmm. A lot of the customers that have done traditional wafer level packaging, they're slowly moving from the wafer base where they take uh, good and known good dyes and reconstitute that into a wafer to use for packaging. They're moving towards the PCB side where they're using the PCB laminate as a base layer and then right. they're reattaching the dyes on there. So we're seeing various sizes of that too, Ooh. which is interesting. With small being in the range of say 250 by 250 for yeah. example, which you know it's similar to a little bit larger than your traditional photovoltaic squared uh, substrate to as large as 600 by 600. Wow. So yeah, it's, it's a large scale where I think they're trying to leverage the equipment that's available out there from your traditional wafer-based yeah. stuff that can run squared or circular to uh, your LCD style yeah. equipment which can handle the 600 by 600. Okay. And I think that camp is very spread at the moment. Yeah, and that crossover from wafer to PCB suits you very well because you have a strong background in both. Yes. So. March, or I guess Norton March, is really made up of two different companies. In the past, we've had Advanced Plasma Systems and we've had March Instruments. March Instruments focus more on the semiconductor packaging side with Advanced Plasma focusing on the PCB side. So when the companies were both acquired by Norton, we have both uh, businesses and each component makes equally 50% of our revenue. So it's, it's, it's nice in terms of it balances out the company. Um, and we've had a long history both. Uh, as I was mentioning earlier to um, one of um, the people I was talking to, uh, March is about 30 years now yeah. of business and with Advanced Plasma it's been close to 32 years. Yeah. So we've been in the game for quite some time. Yeah. And the roll-to-roll -roll business, is that is that impacted by a particular end, end user market? Is there a particular industry that's, that's looking for the for, for those processes? For row to row it's separated into, I would say, two different end customers. One being your traditional PCB boards uh, manufacturers. Ooh. The other is your substrates for SMT. Okay. So that drives which type of row to row system that they want. Uh, the ones that are making your uh, substrates for uh, SMT, they're running very thin material, very thin rows, where you still have an underlying copper layer, but instead of having a traditional say 10 or 12 layers of interconnects, it's about two, sometimes okay. four at most. So you're very thin, sub 50 microns always, okay. versus the traditional guys where closer to 100 microns. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jonathan, thanks very much for stopping by. Thanks for chatting, great insight, and look forward to speaking again soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks.